Hey guys, I'm Taylor and today I'm going to be talking about Botox. I'm going to be talking about the evolution of Botox and how it is now being used for more than just cosmetic aesthetics. So, my purpose today is to inform everyone about the evolution of Botox. From Botox being the leading aesthetic enhancement to now being used for certain medical conditions, Botox has evolved as a whole in the last few years. So, Botox is one of the leading aesthetic enhancements year after year. Botox alone is a $7.71 billion industry. It's to a point where famous people are criticized and asked all the time if they've had Botox done to their face or not. Botox has evolved when Botox first came out, it was known as being used for cosmetic aesthetics, such as eliminating wrinkles and frown lines and crow's eyes. And today it is being used for way more than just that. So I am going to be talking about Botox because I have always been very fascinated about it, especially because the fact that as we age, there is something that can reverse the aging process almost, which makes you look more youth youthful and young, and you ultimately look younger than you are. Not only that, but my goal is to be a nurse one day and get into cosmetic aesthetics, Botox, filler, so I found this topic to be a good one. So... First, I will discuss why people use Botox and the benefits of it. Second, I will discuss the risks that come with using Botox. And then lastly, I will discuss what happens to a person when they stop using Botox for aesthetic enhancements only. So, Botox has become so prevalent that in this day and age, it's almost normal to see someone who's been using Botox. Botox was first approved by the FDA in 1989. It was actually originally approved for two rare muscle disorders known as blepharospasm and strabismus in adults. It actually wasn't until 2002 when Botox was approved for cosmetic aesthetics. So by 2021 now though, Botox is now used for over eight medical benefits. These benefits include lazy eye, muscle contractors, chronic migraines, bladder dysfunction, and even eye twitching. This, so Botox works by blocking certain chemical signals from nerves that cause muscles to contract. So if you get Botox for preventing wrinkles, I can show you what it would look like. So this is someone before getting Botox and then after. As you can see, less muscles are contracting in which you can't see her wrinkles. And so year after year, Botox is ranked as one of the top used aesthetic procedures. In 2019, the use of Botox had risen by 4%, making it the highest number of injections given to date at 7.7 .7 million. And that's just for Botox alone. No other cosmetic aesthetics, just Botox. Between 2000 and 2019, the use of Botox has risen by 878%. Botox is also primarily used by females. The Botox market is expected to rise by 10.3% by 2025. The Botox market most people the most known city to get botox is fort lauderdale it's actually ranked in the number one city for game botox and the three main sites in which botox is administered is in the forehead the crow's eye and the frown lines now that i have discussed why people use botox and the benefits of it i will now discuss the risks of botox because with any cosmetic aesthetic and medical purpose there is always medical benefits, sorry, there's always risks that come along with it. So, in Botox is botulinum, which is actually a toxin that can be life-threatening, in which, however, because 
it's so minimal, the amount of Botox being put into your body, the toxin is little to no harm, actually. And between 1989 and 2003, only 36 cases of adverse effects were reported when used, when Botox was used for cosmetic purposes. And 13 of the 36 cases were known, the people were known to have underlying health conditions, which caused the adverse effects to take place. However, there is still a risk, but it is very minimal and nothing to be worried about. If there, there are side effects to watch out for, and the four main side effects that one should always watch out for are pain, swelling or bruising at the injection site, headache, fever, and chills. Those are the main side effects that one should look out for. In rare cases, there are botulism, like symptoms that can occur and these would include difficulty speaking, difficulty breathing, vision problems, loss of bladder control, and general weakness. Sometimes there are also effects that happen at the injection site which can include drooping eyelids if you get the Botox where your crow's feet are, uneven eyebrows, dry eyes, and excessive tears. It is also advised that pregnant women do not get Botox, just to stay safe. And last but not least, due to Botox not being permanent, their effects take place once you stop the Botox. So once one decides to stop getting Botox, it does dissolve on its own. So you don't have to go back to the doctor to get it removed, it will dissolve. Depending on how long you've been doing Botox, once you stop doing Botox, your face will start to get its wrinkles, the frown lines, and even the crow's eyes. There's no way to tell how long that will take. It just depends on your body, but you will get the wrinkles back. Botox can be done once you, if you stop Botox and then decide you want it again, you can proceed to do that if you would like. However, Botox must be done by a licensed medical professional. In the state of California, it must be a registered nurse. Some states will allow licensed estheticians. However, it does vary from state to state. If you are using Botox for medical purposes, once you stop the Botox for such medical purpose, the pain will come back. So it is something that must be continued. So all in all, Botox is the first and only FDA approved treatment that has been proven to reduce wrinkles and crow's eye as well as frown lines, creating a more youthful, smoother skin as well as improvement in other medical conditions as well. And in conclusion, Botox is a booming industry that will continue to grow for years to come, especially when it comes to cosmetic aesthetics because who doesn't want to look young at the age of 60, you know? Aging is something that many people, females especially, do not want shown. So they will do whatever it takes to stay looking young. However, like I said, with every procedure done in the medical field, there are risks. So, you know, do it at your own risk. And yeah, thanks for watching.